Last week we were talking together. Just killing me, G. I had the perfect me. But I feel like I'm in love with the pain, fam, because it's the same old story. Same old questions. What's your body count? Who are you linking before me? And I out of excuses the truth is i'm so cold i'm so frozen too many times my heart has been broken i'm crying my cold defendant but it's like watching a film and you already know the ending see me i think i think too much try to keep it short and sweet but i say too much now she want to go back and forth she want to play two touches back to square one both said things that shouldn't have been said did things that shouldn't have been done wish i could turn back time and i wish that i could get a rerun because i had the perfect picture it was all laid out for me but i feel like i'm in love with the pain fam because it's the same old story same old questions what's your body count who are you linking before me and i hope she don't ask me back because my life like an episode of maury i had the perfect picture it was all laid out for me but i feel like i'm in love with the pain fam because it's the same old story same old questions what's your body count who are you linking before me and i hope she don't ask me back because my life like an episode of maury <laughs> It is opening night, a huge night for both sets of fans. Match day one in the UEFA Champions League. Who will get off to a flying start? It's Borussia Dortmund and they take on Barcelona. It's coming up live next on EA TV. And welcome to one of the most football crazy cities anywhere in Europe. We're in Dortmund, famed of course for the famous Yellow Wall. My name is Derek Ray, with me in the commentary box is Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stays as Barcelona. Well, Derek, I hope you are as excited as me. The start of the Champions League, always a special atmosphere. Both teams will be hoping for a long journey, or it may be very, very short. We're about to find out. And news of a goal at the Giuseppe Meazza Stadium. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Inter. It's been scored by Romelu Lukaku. Bit of a goal mouth scramble, and he managed to prod out a foot, and the ball went in off the far post. Nothing wrong with that idea. Hazard, an early goal. It is the ideal opening. Back underway, Borussia Dortmund with the advantage. And apologies for having to interrupt you there, Alan McAnally. Just to confirm, Inter have scored in that game. They now lead by one goal to nil. 
Emre Can. This attack looks highly promising. Will he find the net? Defending at the highest class to stop him. Here's the replay. You've got to ask questions about the back line and the goalkeeper. They're simply not there. Well, a second goal for them here. Well, Derek, they're not happy. Ref is taking the brunt of this. I think, Lee, we all look forward, don't we, to the various stages of the Champions League, from the group stage to the knockout stages. Each has its own dynamic. Well, it does. I certainly get a little bit more excited when the knockout stages start, I must admit, but... The, uh, the group stage is an introduction to everybody, to all the teams that are in the competition. I think that's vital. You get to know the players, the teams, how they play. He's in behind the defence here. Now the task is to remain focused. Still possibilities. And he clears it out of harm's way. Emre Can. Can accurately towards the far post it could be up for grabs and I can tell you there's been a change to the scoreline at the Mayatza. let's go to Alan McAnally it's a second goal for Inter 26 minutes played, 2-0 well, visionary passing such an important goalkeeping intervention under pressure De Jong Messi Frankie De Jong Barcelona, free kick, it'll be here. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Now with Hakimi, and showing fine vision. Hakimi, great opportunity, well it's goal after goal after goal, just now enter this, a brilliant display. And Suarez outfoxed by the defender in that case. Well look at the stats, Dortmund controlling possession here, if you don't control the ball in midfield it's very difficult to have enough of the ball. Well, listen to that, Derek. They think it was a nailed-on pen. The ref didn't know. Might really be able to trouble them here. To Stegen with a great save. And over comes the corner. And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. A bit of running room now on the wing. Is in the thick of it, and he's fired it against the post. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. Royce, can they convert? And he scored not once but twice. They simply cannot stop him, and no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, you've got to say, an incredible first half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. And there they put. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Griezmann, Jordi Alba, Artur, Jaden Sancho, Emre Can, Hakimi, it needs an accurate cross. Azar! High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that, and it was close. Well, it's all about timing. You've got to wait for the ball to come down, and he's very, very unlucky. And I can tell you there's been a change to the scoreline at the Mayatza. Let's go to Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Inter. 50 minutes, please. 3-1. Many thanks, Alan. 
A lot to look forward to on the Champions League group stage front here on EA TV. Live, it's Barcelona facing Inter. Yeah, break from league action for players. Always a good atmosphere when it's knockout football. Should be a great match, that. Sergio Busquets. De Jong. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Mats Hummels wins the challenge. Now Jordi Alba. Vidal and that's an important intervention this attack looks highly promising plenty of players waiting in the middle well that's a moment the fans won't soon forget really good block and Dortmund will go to the bench he's driven in the corner well it all counts for naught yes man being pressed hard. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Sergio Busquets. Jordi Alba. Hummel's reading it well and winning it back. Good, sir. He has time to play it over. Well, the clearance half hearted. Will it be? Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. delivered by Rafael Guerrero and cleared behind for what is going to be a corner kick fired over by Guerrero well he couldn't quite keep the header down well it was the pace on the cross sometimes with that much power on the cross just cushion it otherwise it goes over now here's Arturo Vidal. An unforced error, you've got to say. Wonderfully weighted pass. Good technique display. And it might be on for Guerrero. Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum. And he did. Corner coming up for Dortmund. And he's fired over the corner. And fisted away. It needs an accurate cross. Looks promising this. And news of a keeper did his job to begin with. Messi. Well, we did have to cut Alan McAnally short there. Just to confirm, Inter have scored in that game. And a thumping advantage currently standing at 5-1. Vidal. Sergio Busquets. They get high marks for that move, but they couldn't make it count. De Jong. Messi. Suarez. Firing it in. And a powerful effort, but just lacking accuracy. Yeah, narrowly wide, Derek. Decent effort. He smashed it. here and it's a story of forward momentum from Borussia Dortmund and he's made headway well that is how to nullify the opposition Suarez Dembele on the ball and I just couldn't keep the ball and that is that Barcelona, I must say, will be scratching their heads based on this. And all... Will he find the net?
Finest. Wonder why I'm the man primest. Never underestimate your highness. Dripped in melanin, galaxy's finest. Put a bit of pressure on the spirit of the highest. Do it, I will. Do it, I will. If they don't mean me, then you betcha I will. If they don't mean me, then you betcha I will. Better be happy, love for the betcha I chill. Oh, oh my gosh. Where my go? Oh my gosh. Baby, I'm on TV. Oh my gosh. Yet you never know what you got to live. You would think this game has epic written all over it. Two heavyweights of Europe, and both have the potential to go far. It's Barcelona. They take on Inter next on EA TV. Hello, wherever you happen to be. Welcome to Catalonia. Welcome to Barcelona. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and England defender, Lee Dixon. And we're ready for UEFA Champions League group stage action tonight. It's Barcelona up against Inter. Thank you, Derek. Well, there's been a lot of pressure on these Barca players after their opening game in the Champions League. Vital now that they get three points, otherwise they could be under more pressure. Can they improve all round? They need to. Well, this is what we think for Barcelona. Marc-Andre Ter Stegen starts in goal. Pique starts alongside Clément Langlais in the centre of defence. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Eriksson. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Christian Eriksson now. Brozovic. Asamoa. Eriksson. Excellent challenge. Suarez. I mean, let's face it, when Messi is on the pitch, you cannot take your eyes off him. What do you think he'll offer in this match, Lee? Well, his ball possession will be his key. People give him the ball because they know he links the play. You give him the ball, then you make a run, you normally get the ball back, which is very encouraging. Might be a chance here. He'll be cross with himself based on the position he had taken up. Well, yeah, it was poor technique, wasn't it? Thrashed out a little bit, went for power. The Inter starting lineup. Samir Handanovic begins in goal. Diego Godin plays with Milan Striniar in central defence. And it's two strikers up front who'll look to provide the goal scoring threat. Thunders clear. Messino on the ball. And very deftly cut out. Advantage, Barcelona. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. Can they keep it going? Opportunity to take the lead. Great save by Handanovic. <laughs> and use of a goal scored and fisted away. And disappointingly, he got completely underneath that. Well, here's a coaching tip. Long-range shot, lean back equals over the bar. I always listen to you, coaching tips, Lee. <laughs> and unfortunately, we did have to cut Alan McAnally short there to confirm Dortmund have scored in that game. They now lead by one goal to nil. Lukaku in position. Lack of guile with regard to that cross. Goalkeeper's ball. High pressing at its best. Making progress. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Messino. They might be able to get in now. Martinez. He's had to go for it. Wins the ball. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Messino. Well, he was just a fraction offside then. That's all he needs to be, a fraction. And it was so close. Now they've lost it. De Jong. 
Jordi Alba. Artur. Griezmann. And space for the cross. Nothing in it, Derek, is there? Just testing each other out tactically. It's fascinating. Who will buckle first? Lukaku. And Vecino again. And a half-baked clearance. Well, someone has found the net at the Zignali Duna Park. Let's hear about it from Alan McAnally. He's got the right idea with that pass. Looks as though they might make real progress on the counter-attack. Not so. Brozovic, wonderfully weighted pass. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Well, for understandable reasons, we had to cut off Alan McAdally. Just to confirm, Dortmund did score in that match. And their advantage at the moment stands at 2-0. Not really the ideal clearance. And no-nonsense defensive clearance. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Losing possession a bit easily. Messino on the ball. Giving the ball away. Well, the first 45 minutes... And the second half of this Champions League group stage meeting is underway. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Eriksson. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. And scope for the cross. Well, the cross was acceptable, but no one there to thump at home. Now Griezmann. Jordi Alba. Artur has it. Messi, De Jong, Nelson Semedo has it, Nelson Semedo, well, let's see about the cross, Godin doing the thwarting, Martinez, Brozovic, well, let us point you in the direction of Champions League group stage action coming up live here on EA TV. It's Inter facing Borussia Dortmund. Well, a super atmosphere of cup football rarely lets you down. Exciting game that'll be, I'm sure, Derek. Precise ball movement. Going well. Oh, a vital interception. Messi. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Nelson Semedo. Nelson Semedo. Well, it petered out. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. I believe there's been a goal in the Dortmund match. Alan McAdami can fill us in. It's a third goal for Borussia Dortmund. It's been scored by Mario Götze. The attack broke down. The ball came out to him, and on the run, he hit a ferocious shot into the top corner. Stunning strike. 58 minutes played, 3 0. Alan McAdali with his finger on the pulse. Sergio Busquets. Messi. Now, what can Lionel Messi do from here? Simple for the keeper. Frankie de Jong, Messi, Artur, Messi, Suarez, Artur, they won't be able to play it in behind the defence, well they have the ball once more, Artur, now Busquets. Just cutting off the supply.
Now Brozovic. Alexis Sanchez with options. Martinez. Now Brozovic. Alexis Sanchez. Promising sequence. Crossed in by Alexis Sanchez. Danger averted. Martinez! We wondered if a goal was forthcoming, but it has arrived now. Well, finally the deadlock has been broken. Not long to go now. How will that affect the opposition? Obviously, it's a tapping, Derek, but it's the patience in the box I like. A predator's instinct, just waiting for the ball to come to him. And back playing here with Inter, the team holding the advantage. Suarez saw his pass intercepted. Barella has it. Now they're on the scent of something positive. The cross is on. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Now just couldn't keep the ball. I'm hearing there's been a goal scored at the Zignal Iduna Park. Alan McAnally. It's another goal for Borussia Dortmund. It's been scored by Axel Witzel. I'm not sure the ball was going in, but it hit a defender nestled in the corner. Ten minutes remain. 4 0. Thanks, Alan. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Dembele on the ball. Crossing opportunity. De Jong. Firing it towards goal. A case of foiling the opposition by whatever means. Suarez. Messi. Wonderful block. Given away by Christian Eriksen. Suarez. Now Messi, he read the situation defensively and did his job. We have entered the final minute of normal time. Now Busquets. The electronic board has been held aloft. Two additional minutes here. Given the circumstances, Barcelona have got to go for it. Arthur! Wide of the target, and he's going to be disappointed. Disappointed? Wow, it's a shocker. He should be doing a lot, lot better than that. Full time then, and it is a story of played two, lost two. And sadly, that's not the sort of form that's like. And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. My name is Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And we've got UEFA Champions League. Group stage action to bring you tonight. It is Slavia Prague facing Barcelona. Yeah, it's important. You're consistent throughout these group stages. You can't afford any slip-ups, no drop points. As before you know it, you're out the running. 
Anticipating a really good game today, Derek. Hopefully, we're not disappointed. The lineup then for the hosts. And this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them. But it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. It comes to absolutely nothing. Well, they have the ball once more. Well, this is what we think for Barcelona. Mark, and he's made headway. It's there for him. Oh, that was a terrific stop in a one-versus-one one situation. Well, high fives all round for the goalkeeper. Absolutely fantastic. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Well, the normally brilliant Barcelona haven't been quite as brilliant in the group stage, up to now anyway, and their supporters are hoping for a big upturn in fortunes this time round. Well, it's been poor form, poor tactics, poor all round from everybody really, and there needs to be a big, big improvement. It has to be! Usman Dembele is the man who has scored here! Well, goalkeepers call the post and the crossbar their friends. Not on this occasion. Clips the inside and goes in the back of the net. So, back underway, and it's Barcelona holding the advantage. Moving forward effectively. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now, a throw-in. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Ibrahim Traore. They've given it away. It looks promising. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Onayinka. They've won back possession. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Excellent vision. And it's in! A goal for Barcelona! Well, look at this. That's what Pace can do to you. They didn't see much danger. Then bang, up the pitch, in a heartbeat, and a goal. Well, there's nothing better for a manager when a plan comes together. Total satisfaction. It's going their way. 2-0. Kufal on the ball. And the ball with Andrzej Kudela. Sergio Busquets. Does know how to control the ball on the run, Busquets. Dembele! Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. Messi with the corner. Plattered away. Dembele, opportunity to deliver the cross. It's with Masopust. Well, that is how to play advantage. Couldn't hang on to it. Well, as you can see, Barca haven't had too much of the ball, but they won't mind with that. They're winning this game. They're sucking their opponents onto them. And with the pace they've got in midfield and up front, they're really causing problems. De Jong, Dembele, Messi. Messi looking for the through ball. Can they convert? Keeper didn't quite do enough. Well, sometimes you need a bit of good fortune. Tick that box. Now, can that initiate a comeback? The crowd thinks so. Possession lost. Longley. 
Now Busquets. Dembele. Artur. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Barcelona have lost possession. Traore. Counter-attacking very much an option. Crossing possibilities. It comes to nothing. Dembele. The cross is on. Messi. It really is such a free-scoring performance. Just nothing the defenders can do about it, seemingly. Well, you've got to say, an incredible first-half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. Lost possession. The first half here comes to an end. And so the second half commences here. And it was one-way traffic in the first half. They're going to need all their time if they have designs on a comeback. Artur. Griezmann. Good tackle. They've given it away. You don't want to lose the ball in that position. Well, they couldn't make anything of that cross with the ball in a decent enough position. Nelson Semedo has it. Barcelona moving the ball swiftly and finding themselves in a promising position. Well, the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. And well, they've been getting two substitutes warmed up and both will come on here. A chance to whip it in. It did appear that they might be onto something, but not so. Good looking sequence. A bit of running room now on the wing. Nelson Semedo has it. And now passing it through. Messi might be in here. The goals keep going in for them. I don't think they're going to throw this away now. Absolutely omnipotent. Well, it's the timing, Derek. The ball through, matched by the run. And it's a lovely finish. Fabulous goal. Well, it has been one-sided, but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going. Half an hour remaining then. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Great defending from Busquets. I must say, this looks promising. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free-kick situation? So much has gone right for them in this game, but that wasn't part of the plan. A red card. Yeah, a bit of a blip, but they should have enough to see out the game. Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. Well, he's given a corner, they referee. Played into the centre of the box. A glorious chance. What an important piece of defending. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Beautifully disguised ball. Now, will they do it from here? Big chance it is. And that completes an impressive hat-trick. Well, keep counting. Three now. But at this rate, he's in for a hatful.
Well, here's the replay. You have to say he's been a thorn in the side of the opposition all match. It's a good finish and a richly deserved hat-trick. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Well, enjoy the good days as a coach. It could be a roller coaster ride, I can tell you that. The ball rolling again in what has been an utterly one sided match. So, 20 minutes to go. On the ball, Shevchik. Nikolai Stanchiu. Alert defending. Crossing possibilities. And everyone in the centre looking on as it sailed over them. And easy meet for the keeper given that cross. Barcelona have given it away. Crossing opportunity. Borgil. Traore. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Dangerous looking attack. An attempt like that, never likely to trouble the keeper. No, he's got his positioning right, but it was a poor shot in the end. De Jong. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And in with a real chance. The net is staring him in the face. And good work to deny the chance. The corner courtesy of Lionel Messi. Well, nothing wrong with the header, but it was always going that little bit off target. Just been a thoroughly cogent and convincing performance in this match, Lee. Wow, how creative have Barcelona been tonight. Their imagination, their delivery of passes, their execution, a real top-draw performance. They've created chance after chance, a real joy to watch. Kufal on the ball. Good-looking sequence. On the ball, Shevchik. Moving into the advanced position. And scope for the cross. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Ivan Rakitic. Rakitic electing to play it forward. Messi. He takes aim. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Griezmann. And now having a go. Simple save, really. Jordi Alba and the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger corner for Barcelona Messi with the corner
Hello from the Catalan capital and one of the world's great cities, Barcelona. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Lee Dixon in the commentary position. And we've got UEFA Champions League group stage action to bring you tonight. It's Barcelona and they face Slavia Prague. Yeah, Derek, thanks. You can't really go on and win tournaments unless you're consistent in the group stages. Very important you don't drop points. Looking forward to this one. And they get the ball rolling in this Champions League group stage confrontation. This is what we expect from the Blaugrana. Artur plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And up front, one of the best the game has ever seen, Lionel Messi. Masopust. Real danger. Opportunity. to deliver the cross fist on ball I mean let's face it when Messi is on the pitch you cannot take your eyes off him what do you think he'll offer in this match Lee? well a hat-trick in his last game defenders beware concentrate on your job they will take great pleasure in stopping the goal machine a sloppy pass this is the lineup for the visitors today and this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them. But it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. 
And the cross goes in. It comes to absolutely nothing. This might be ideal for the counter. Artur. And now passing it through. Artur. Well, and a goal for the Blaugrana. Barcelona has scored. Well, it's like a huge wave coming at you time after time. Eventually, you will collapse. So, back underway, and it's Barcelona holding the advantage. Dembele. Not even close in the end, Lee. Well, he's had a go, Derek. He's gone for power, but the accuracy just wasn't there, was it? MTC. De Jong. Messi. Artur. Excellent ball over the top. Well, visionary passing. Oh, they really should have a two-goal cushion. Well, he can't believe it, Derek. What a wonderful opportunity. You just wonder if they're going to live to regret that. through here touched onto the woodwork Borgio has it and a throw in forthcoming a move of promise on the flank oh he's given the ball away unnecessarily Borgil, Traore. Well, that's not watertight defending. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Opportunity missed. Barca really haven't seen too much of the ball, but again, we've seen it before, we'll see it again. Their counter-attack play has been absolutely fantastic. Pace really hurts defences, and they've got that in abundance. Olayinka. Borgil. Traore. Chance to attack using width. It needs an accurate cross. Foiling them effectively. Messi Traore Stanchio Great vision to switch the play Will he play it in? And will it be the leveller? Can they put it away? He's feeling the pressure here The Blagrana have given the ball away Well Barca's lead is hanging by a thread the coach knows it, the players know it, and the crowd knows it. Listen to them. Now Busquets. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. And they can't quite take advantage in the end. De Jong. Opportunity it is. Wonderful block. And now the delivery. Nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Samuel Umtiti. Well, he was in the right place to intercept. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. And he's made headway. And he has just veered into an offside position this time. Messi. Well, he was just a fraction offside then. That's all he needs to be, a fraction. And it was so close. De Jong Artur has it wonderful tackle well the first 45 minutes have come and gone here in Qatar underway then in the second half of this Champions League group stage confrontation
Ibrahim Traore. On the ball, Shevchik. Keeping the ball moving. Now he must favour the cross. Extremely sloppy in possession. Now Griezmann. Barcelona moving the ball swiftly and finding themselves in a promising position. Now let us point you in the direction of Champions League group stage action coming up live here on EA TV. It's Barcelona facing Borussia Dortmund. Knockout football, Derek, you know it's my favourite. Properly focuses the mind, that does. Well, it should do anyway. I'm looking forward to it. Keeper's contribution, but what next? On the ball, Shevchik. Traore. Vladimir Kufal. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. Artur. That is how to apply the pressure. Messi. It's all about translating threats into goals. And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. Frankie de Jong. Nelson Semedo. Plenty of running room in the wide position. Artur. Useful looking ball. Tempele. And it's in! A goal for Barcelona! A goal for the Blaugrana! Can they be stopped now? Well, Derek, I could watch this all day long. I can't tell you how difficult this technique is. Look at it coming from the wide area. Bang on the volley. What a goal. So, 2-0 now. He's found a pocket of space. It's neat passing. Confidence on the ball. Dembele, Artur has it, bodies forward and the break looks on, Messi, Messi, still possibilities, cutting in, what can he do from this position? Well, just look at the stats. There it is in front of your eye. Chance after chance, goal after goal. A brilliant performance from everybody. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. Wonderful chance. Off the post and back in play. And he takes on the shot. And they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. So there we have it, 2-1. And now this is Longley. Griezmann. Borgil. It's with Shevchik. Olajinka. On the ball, Shevchik. Good idea, that particular move, but not to be. De Jong. Sustained pressure, and now they have the ball. He has time to play it over. Artur. Jordi Alba. Given away by Barcelona. And now passing it through. Well, that was a guilt-edged opportunity for the equaliser. Well, you always hope for one more chance in a game. And that was it. The chance for an equaliser. MTC. Sergio Busquets. Couldn't keep it. He's got the right idea with that pass. Magnificent stuff. And quite the comeback from two goals down. 
And as the game has restarted, we're left. To reflect on four goals, 2-2. Two, two. Now Griezmann. Vida and fed forwards. And they could do damage. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? One minute remaining. Kufal on the ball. The electronic board has been held aloft. Two additional minutes here. He's going forward well here. Rakitic. The offside flag had to go up, and it did. Yeah, look along the line, look along the line. Vidal. Now Griezmann. The final whistle is sounded, and it's a victory for Barcelona. Well, with a tight... streets in seattle said honey i don't got much time to talk i broke down because i knew what was next and she said i'm okay but i'm locked in a holding cell till someone gets me out can you help me i have no one else so there i was a defenseless middle kid crying out for the right words to say sorry i can't do anything at all so i hung up Well, this is not what we generally expect from Barcelona. If results don't go their way this evening, they'll be eliminated in the group stage. The action is live. Hello, wherever you happen to be. Welcome to Catalonia. Welcome to Barcelona. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary position, joined by Lee Dixon. And Barcelona will desperately try to avoid the ignominy of being knocked out before we get to the Champions League last 16. It's Barcelona facing Borussia Dortmund. Well, with all those bad results and bad performances that Barcelona have had in the Champions League so far, they need to get rid of those from the memory banks. Three points is a must tonight. They need to get back to the standards they set before. Firing it towards goal. Can they take the lead? And the flag has gone up here, offside the decision. Well, real concern for the home supporters, and I say that because things haven't gone to plan during the group stage. They know full well that they find themselves in a bad position and could be knocked out of the competition here in the group stage. Well, who would have thought that at the start? Not me, that's for sure. They could actually be waving goodbye tonight. Well, in every football generation, there's a player who stands above the Immortals, and Lionel Messi falls in that category. Well, yeah, when defenders look who they're playing against, they always look at the goals. Two goals in his last previous game. He's certainly a threat to them today. Dembele. Can they switch to an even higher gear? Nelson Semedo. It was a fine-looking attack, but now they've given the ball away. Counter-attacking very much an option. Rice. He's taken on his opponent and he's broken free. 
Well, that was a fine counter-attack, but no end product, Lee. Yeah, lacked a little composure at the end, Derek, but they're so lethal on the break with the pace they have. Sergio Busquets. Lionel Messi. Couldn't keep the ball. Good, sir. And, well, visionary passing. Well, he did his best to remain onside, but just failed. Yeah, it was close. It was close, but that's all it needs to be, close. He was offside. Messi. Artur. Now Busquets. I must say, this looks promising. Read it superbly to take back possession. And news of a goal at the Giuseppe Meazza Stadium. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Inter. 21 minutes played. 1-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Sancho. And Royce is in there. Well, a sloppy clearance. What can the opposition do with this? Sergio Busquets. Getting forward. Barcelona for a kick. It'll be here. He's been admonished by the referee. He's now got to walk something of a tightrope. Yeah, he knows exactly where he stands. Look at the referee, how he's told him off there. No yellow card, but certainly knows what the... And the keeper acquitted himself well. Yeah, it was a good ball in, wasn't it? But the keeper did everything right. Sergio Busquets. Lionel Messi. Danger averted for now. A chance maybe from the wide position. He's given it straight to the opposition. Royce. Couldn't hang on to it. Well, look at the stats. Barcelona enjoying the bulk of possession here. But I don't think the manager or the fans will be too happy with this performance. It's all been a little bit too slow, too pedestrian. They need to find another gear if they're going to go on and win this. Emery Jan now. They might be able to get in now. Do they have the guile to up and up the defence? Useful ball towards the back post this time. Can they slot it home? Mitzel. And putting his body on the line. Dembele. Messi Dembele Lionel Messi gonna get a try he's gone for power Lee but it's wide well no real direction but the power was there and you're right it's just gone past the post Frankie de Jong. Now Busquets. Artur has it. Messi. Artur. The defender put in the challenge and it might be a red card. And the referee has reached for a red card. The denial of a clear goal-scoring chance. Yeah, it's been an awkward game for the referee today, but he's got that decision absolutely right. And Dortmund will go to the bench. And the goalkeeper not offering any scraps that time. The electronic board has been held aloft. Two additional minutes here. Hazard. The ball with Marco Reus. Reus. Promising attack this from Borussia Dortmund. And he's broken free. Good sir. Well, the...
And the second half of this Champions League group stage meeting is underway. Marco Reis. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Dembele. Messi. Dembele. And possession lost, intercepted. Here's Goodson now. Nothing wrong with that idea. Marco Reus! Well kept out of the game level. Let's see what they can do with this corner. Corner kick played over. And that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick. Now let us point you in the direction of Champions League group stage action coming up live here on EA TV. It's Barcelona facing Inter. Well, a super atmosphere of cup football rarely lets you down. Exciting game that'll be, I'm sure, Derek. Failed to keep hold of it. Artur has it. Messi. Artur. That was simply miles off target. Dear me. Oh, close your eyes when you're watching this one. It's horrific. An awful lot of green space to run into. Crossing possibilities. Superbly read and executed. Witzel. And Azard again. Well, not really a shooting moment he's going to be especially proud of, Lee. Well, he did have other options, but he thought, you know what, I'm just going to have a go. Messi. A goal has gone in at the Giuseppe Meazza Stadium. Let's hear about it from Alan. It's the second goal for Inter. It's been scored by Alexis Sanchez. A horrible mix-up between the keeper and... It has to be! Wide of the target, and he's going to be disappointed. Disappointed? Wow, it's a shocker. He should be doing a... Lot, lot better. Better than that. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Witzel. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Teammates in the middle. An opportunity with the header, but not troubling the goalkeeper at all, Lee. Well, I'll say one thing. Technique, and he didn't have any. Messi, Vidal, Barca maintain possession, advantage. Brandt, a chance maybe from the wide position. Teammates could potentially join in. Royce, will it happen this time? And that is how to tackle inside your own penalty area. Well, Barca are not really at their best today, but this crowd will forgive them if they can get the decider. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. And Messi! We wondered if a goal was forthcoming, but it has arrived now. Well, finally the deadlock has been broken. Not long to go now. How will that affect the opposition? Well, it's a beautifully crafted goal. The supply line worked perfectly there, and he finishes it off with ease. Lovely goal. Underway again with Barcelona in the lead. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Well, in the second half, trailing, albeit by a small margin. How should they be viewing this task, Lee? 
Well, Dortmund have scored late, late goals in the past. We know that. They surely won't give up. They're desperate for one now. They'll pile the pressure on, push the opposition backwards. Surely they will get one more chance. Hakimi and a strong tackle. Now Busquets. Dembele. Messi. Vidal. And return to Messi. Rakitic. Thunders clear. Busquets. Messi. And Lionel Messi giving it away. Not really like it. Brandt with it. Five minutes remaining, and one thing is certain, no one... He's got to score! And the goalkeeper, as you would expect, once again doing his job. Yeah, that's it, his job, get behind the ball and save it. Ivan Rakitic. Messi. Well, it's super loud in here right now, almost over the line for Barca. Most of the hard work is done, the fans are trying their best. Zagadou, Witzel. Extremely sloppy in possession. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Lionel Messi. Good ball movement and a decent position here for Barcelona. Smuggled away. And there goes the final whistle. And the story here tonight is this, they live on for now. Well, they know what they must do this evening. Destiny in their hands. Three points to guarantee a place on the knockout stages. And it's live here on EA TV. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, we're talking to you from one of the special venues in European football, the San Siro, here in the city of Milan. I'm Derek Ray, here on the commentary position, joined by Lee Dixon. And Barcelona have the opportunity to rubber stamp their place in the Champions League knockout stages. It's Inter versus Barcelona. Well, it's not the position Barcelona would have hoped to be in. Their Champions League campaign could end tonight. Very, very important they focus on their performance. I'd be surprised, though, at the final whistle if they hadn't progressed. Inter's lineup is as follows. Samir Handanovic begins in goal. Stefan de Frey plays with Diego Godin at the back. Well, quite simply, the cross was too close to the keeper. Well, just to reiterate, it is all on the line for the visitors. Last game in the group stage, can they stamp their ticket for the knockout rounds, Lee? Yeah, that's right. You want your fate in your own hands. Three points should see them through, whatever happens in the other games. Sergio Busquets. Messino. Well, he was just a fraction offside then. That's all he needs to be, a fraction. And it was so close. Messi. Possession changes hands. The interception there. Romelu Lukaku, a player who opposing defenders have got to keep tabs on. Lee, you'd expect that he'll have something to say for himself. Lukaku! He's 
gone for power, Lee, but it's wide. Well, no real direction, but the power was there. And you're right, it's just gone past the post. Now Busquets. Frankie de Jong. Well, someone has found the net at the Zignali Duna Park. Let's hear about it from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Borussia Dortmund. It's been scored by Marco Royce. The defender mistimed the header, and the ball broke to him. Shot attempted, and a powerful effort, but just lacking accuracy. Yeah, narrowly wide, Derek. Decent effort, he smashed it. Well, we did have to cut off Alan McAnally for understandable reasons. Just to confirm, Dortmund did score in that match. And their lead stands at 1-0 presently. Very quick thinking there. And news of a goal scored at the Zignali Duna Park. Alan McAnally. It's the second goal for Borussia Dortmund. It's been scored by Axel Witzel. A low, powerful strike across the keeper. 20 minutes played, 2-0. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Barcelona, and he's broken free. Still a chance. Oh, that was a terrific stop in a one versus one situation. Well, high fives all round for the goalkeeper. Absolutely fantastic. Not to be this time. Artur. Sergio Busquets. De Jong. Lionel Messi. You can usually rely on Sami Handanovic. There was the evidence. Well, he's got a presence about him. Look how big he looks in the goal. And over comes the corner. Fisted clear. Crossing opportunity. De Jong. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. And that was a very fine read. Went in strongly, decisively. Romelu Lukaku now. 